it's time for you to declare war on debt and lack. Now, when you hear the word war, most people will think of a conflict between nations. And you may think, this doesn't apply to me. But listen, you're involved in a war. So is every believer against the devil of debt and lack. He is the enemy of your soul. And, and, and make no mistake about it, the enemy's attacks are relentless. He is going to bombard your mind with all kinds of negative thoughts. For instance, he's going to tell you that you've always been in debt, your family's been in debt, you've always been broke, your family's been broke, and this is the best it's ever going to get. These are simply diversionary tactics to break your focus from the Word of God. But listen, his whole plan, his whole scheme is to cut your supply lines to headquarters. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, your supply lines, well, that's the Word. Headquarters, that's the church. And the reason he's going to cut this is so that you cannot communicate with your commanding general, our great God, Jehovah. Now, I want you to know you're not helpless in this battle. In fact, you've got some pretty good weapons on your side. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on God's whole armor. The armor of a heavily armed soldier, which God supplies, that you may be able to successfully stand up against all, all the strategies and deceits of the devil. But not only that, I want you to consider the scripture that we can find in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Here's what it says in the Message Bible. Keep a cool head. Stay alert. The devil is poised to pounce and would like nothing better than to catch you napping. See, when you've got the Word of God, when you understand who you are in Him, that nothing is impossible to those who believe. Get a hold of the Word. Those seven words that I talk about all the time, read your Bible, do what it says, and declare war on debt and determine purpose in your heart that you're going to be debt free. That's God's best for you. And that's what I call getting to the point.